Hey, everybody. everybody how are y'all doing hey Debbie how are you I am getting ready hi Joyce I'm getting ready to paint my little gingerbread boy and <clears throat> my little gingerbread girl so here's the girl here's the boy and I went ahead and base coated these today so the base coat, up, what I did is the very beginning is I did reindeer brown. <clears throat> Thank you, Debbie, for sharing that. I uh, always appreciate that. Uh, did these base coated in a reindeer brown and put two coats of reindeer brown and let it dry. And then this is the black, which I think is number 37. And then this is Christmas green. I base coated that, which I think is a number 11. And then the number 20 red. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna uh, go ahead and I'm going to shade the green on both of these. And uh, I'm just gonna get my little shader brush. I'm stirring my paint right now, trying to get it a little bit more water in here. <clears throat> I don't wanna get too much, but I need enough that I can move my paint around without having any problems. And showing, I always say you gotta move the paint around to show it who is the boss. And in the, this case, I'm the boss of the paint. Sometimes the paint doesn't always know that, but I know. Okay, so I'm gonna get a uh, shader brush. This one is a number 16. And I'm doing my shading and really just going around that perimeter of his green shirt. I'm gonna kind of pick that up. Come in here, go down. Just following the lines that the CNC has etched out for me. And I'll do something like that. And then I'll come over here and meet this line and go like that. So I'm just shading around that green shirt, trying to make sure I got quite a bit of green paint on there. Like that. And I'll probably do something like this. And then I've got that shaded. So I'm gonna shade her green dress. Hey, Danae, how are you? I hope y'all are having a good day. I've had a pretty good day. It's been a very busy day, but it's been productive. It's been a good day. I'm shading around the dress of my little girl, my little gingerbread girl. And I'll kinda just come in here and just do a little bit of a, um, what I call some green outline, or some green, um, um, little green wisp. I'm gonna do it this way, okay? So I've kinda got the green. Now, probably what I will do while I've got the greens, I'll get the uh, script liner and use that dark green and go ahead and put me some green buttons on here. Just kind of get that script liner and fill that in. Got a lot of paint there. Now, I kind of need to do the same thing to red. Now, looking at her red bow, I'm gonna use the shading red. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Hi, Joy. So glad you guys could, uh, could join me. I'm doing a little bit of shading on the gingerbread boy and girl. So I've got my number 23 shading red, and I think I've told y'all before, shading red is something I mix by hand with the red and the black. <clears throat> so if you don't have any shading red and you have red and black, you can do this. Just kind of put some black in that red until it turns about this color. So I've tried to buy shading red commercially and it all turns uh, purple. So I just do it by hand. All right, so I'm going to, because my um, red bow on here is not very big, I'm not gonna shade the bow using a shader. 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to outline the bow using my, um, what the heck, y'all? Script line. I was trying to see what size it is. I think it's a four. I think that's right. Now, notice what I'm doing. I'm just kind of really, I'm taking that um, script liner and I'm pushing it down to the bottom. And I'm getting a lot of paint on there. That's kind of what I want to do. And then I'm going to just basically outline at this point is what I'm doing. I'm going to go around and just kind of outline. And maybe I'll do one little um, stroke like that. Because if I try to use the regular shader on this, the area is so little, the bow is gonna turn dark red and be nothing but dark red. You won't see any of the original red and that's not what I want. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna kinda make sure I've got a lot of red paint, dark red paint <clears throat> where that CNC line is. And then I'm just gonna take this and kinda very lightly go down the middle of my bow. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll put a little bit of white on it in a little bit, but that's really all I'm gonna do for the bow that's around her neck. I'm not gonna shade it like I normally shade other things with the, with the shading brush. I'm just gonna outline this. All right, now I'll do the same thing here. Just very lightly take that script liner and notice I just have a very light uh, brush stroke there. Hey, Deborah, how are you? I'm so glad you could join me. Um, it's been a good day. It's been a crazy day, but I, I got a lot of stuff done, so that was good. But y'all, it is hot out there. I mean, just like, I, and I was only out there maybe a couple of hours today, but I don't know. It's either hotter or I'm getting older. I'm not, and it's probably me getting older, but y'all, it's just, it's hot, hot, hot out there. So I would go out for a while and come in for a while and go out for a while and then come back in like a little kid running in and out of the house, you know? Okay, so I'm going to just do that. And so if I get, the reason I'm not using the shading brush is you'll just, you'll have so much dark red on there, you won't see the other red. But I am gonna get my shader back out and work on her bow on the top of her head. So again, this is that number 16 shader. Okay, trying to make sure, can y'all see? Yeah, Try to make sure y'all can see right there. Okay, all right, so what I'm gonna do in this case is I'm gonna start right here and go on the outside of the bow first. Don't start here in the middle, and I'm gonna try to show you why in just a second. Go on the outside of the bow. like that and just kind of make some tick marks. Now that you've got that, you want to kind of come over on top, not on top of it, but just touching it, uh, butting up to it, I guess is the way to put it, right there and kind of put you quite a bit of, I usually put it quite a bit of red in there and I'll do that. So right now, this is a pretty simple one. Right now my green and my red are shaded. Now I'm gonna come back over here to the little boy and I'm gonna shade his little red shorts. I'm gonna come here like so. And I'm just going around the perimeter of his shorts. That's what I'm doing. Just kind of coming in here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my shading brown. Don't remember what number that is. I don't have it in front of me, uh, but it's the shading brown. So I base coated the little boy in the reindeer brown <clears throat> and he's gonna be uh, shading brown is what I'm gonna do to shade him. And then what I do to uh, outline is I use the shading red. So let me just show you something right here. Hopefully I can just kind of put this in there for the camera. Put this where you guys can see it. So when you look at these colors, I wanna make sure y'all can see. You can tell by looking at these colors, they're all some form of brown, right? You've got the light, thank you, Debbie, number 37, okay. You've got the reindeer brown, you've got the shading brown, and then you've got the shading red. The thing that's cool about this, when you look at these colors, you can kind of tell they're, you've got that light brown all the way to the deep, deep, deep brown. And when you look at it, to me, it's, it's all about a gingerbread look, 
a reindeer look. Uh, I, these are my colors that I just use over and over and over when it's gingerbreads or reindeers or when it's the Thanksgiving and we do turkeys. These are my go-tos, so I just use them over and over and over. Uh, now watch the, uh, <clears throat> the shading brown. Again, with this number 16 shader. And I'm just gonna go around his face right now. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put kind of a good, a, a fairly wide shade is kind of what I'm going for right now around his face. And then I will shade the little neck part that you see here. Okay, and then I'll come over here like this. I'll do right down here for his little legs. And in a little bit, I'm gonna shade this in the, uh, the, the red, the shading red, this part. Not shaded, I'm gonna outline it in the shading red. I misspoke, sorry about that, y'all. And then what I would do, because we have a lot of what I call negative space here, in other words, he's got a kind of a big fat head. And, um, and I need to kind of take up some space in here, okay? So I'm just gonna kind of come up here and pick that brush up and down, just turning it at a different angle. So you can see this is a wider angle, a solid stroke, wide angle all the way around. And then I turn my brush just like this. And this is how you would have it when you're shading. This is how you would have it when you wanna just do a light stroke, uh, you know, just give some kind of, uh, I call it give it personality. Uh, that's what I call it. So I just took up some of that space right there, kind of just bringing it in where his head is not so uh, big looking, right? But if, yeah, shading wide is probably pretty easier than, than shading a thin line. To me, it is. That's, that's the way I've always felt. Okay, so we have her. I'm gonna do the same thing, except I'm just gonna go from the bottom of the bow to the top of the bow right here. I'm just going around here, okay? Basically, kind of doing the same thing, taking a little bit of stroke here, a thin line, if you will, and I'm gonna go like so. Again, just kind of making a wide stroke right here. But when you look at these colors together, you, I think they look really good as, because the whole point of a gingerbread is they want, you want a warm red, a warm brown. If you, some browns can go real gray, and I've seen people do gingerbreads, and, and their brown is kind of towards the gray, and that's, you, you don't want that. Um, because in the, to me, it doesn't look good. So I'm gonna go back over here and right now I'm gonna to go to the middle of my little guy, little girl right here. I'm gonna let some of that shading dry a little bit before I start outlining. There's really not a whole lot to these little guys. You know, you put that base coat, I put down two base coats of my reindeer brown on the whole thing. I did my Christmas green base coat here, my number 20 red base coat here, my black base coat, and then of course your red base coat. Let that dry and then at the beginning of the video today, I just started shading and doing a little bit of outline. Okay, so we've got her eyes, <clears throat> we've got her nose. I'm gonna just kind of touch them up a little bit. They're not bad looking, but I'm gonna make them just a little more even, okay? Just a little more right there. And then this is just me. It doesn't mean you need to do it. I just kind of always make eyes big. That's just what I do, because I like big eyes. So I'm gonna go a little bit more over what the uh, CNC did right there. You don't have to, you can certainly keep it just the way the CNC lines did it. I'm gonna make them a little bigger because I like big eyes, but that's just me. So <clears throat> I think the trick to making a, um, let's see if I can find this. I'm gonna show you how to make an eyelash. And I think it was Miss Victoria said it here the other day on a video I was doing. The secret to eyelashes. You wanna start right at the, here's your, pretend that's your eye, okay? You're gonna have that brush and you're gonna to touch the surface, right? In the beginning, you touch the surface and in the middle, you get a really a big or a, a, a more pressure and then you come back up. Right here is a very light amount of pressure. Right here is a very light amount of pressure, right? Hey, Jason, how are you? <laughs> uh, and, and so the secret is you're gonna start with the light pressure. You're gonna pressure down and then come back up. So when you look at it, it's just a matter of a light amount of pressure, 
a very light amount of pressure, and in the middle we have a lot of pressure. That's the only difference. So if you watch it, watch that brush. I make it lay down. That's kind of what I call it. Okay? That's all I'm going to do on her eyes. I don't know if you can see it that good. That's why I showed you on that white. And uh, so I'm going to give her, I tend to give five. Now, there's a theory that when you're doing art, odd number is best. I don't know if that's true, but I like that. So it's either three or five. Uh, so I tend to do five. There's my first one. I kind of bring it up at the top. And then I'm going to come out here to the side. Okay, so that's my eyelash there for that girl, for that eye. Okay, and then I'm going to do this. And notice how I'm bringing that brush up at the end. I'm just bringing it up. Now, for eyebrows, they're not going to be sophisticated at all, but I'm going to put a little bit of eyebrow there. Now, the only thing we're missing in terms of this, after this, uh, <laughs> Jason, that's just how you would do it. I know. Did y'all know that Jason, he's a great painter. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm going to just kind of freehand and give her a mouth here. I would probably do something like that. I made it kind of wide on purpose because her, her head is kind of wide. Not as sophisticated, just kind of a nice smile. Okay, so this is her face. So that's, that's pretty much her face. We're pretty much done with that part. Now let's go to his. That's hers. Hold on, I'm going to turn on the fan a little higher so that'll dry a little better, y'all. Okay, so this little guy, it's kind of the same thing. I'm going to load the brush and I'm gonna start here, kind of bring the tail of the eye out a little bit more. And I'm going to just make the eye really big on this little guy because he doesn't have any decoration on the face going on. You don't have to make the eyes that big. If you don't want to, it's no big deal. You can just follow the CNC if you wanna do that. Uh, I don't, I, I just make them a little bit bigger. And I do that, especially on this guy, because he doesn't have much decoration going on on his head. So I'm thinking this eye needs to come up just a little bit more, okay? Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the eyelashes. Down and then back up. Start light, press down, back up. And notice I kinda of get big eyelashes, that's just what I do. Doesn't mean yours can be a lot smaller and they'll still be just as attractive. But I really make that brush lay down and then I pick it up. That's just what, uh, that's how I've always done eyelashes. A little bit of an eyebrow, not much, okay? I'm gonna straighten up his nose just a little bit. Not a whole, whole lot, but a little bit. Like that. All right, and then same thing here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna give him a smile. Just something like that, very simple. I'm gonna put a little tail, if you will, over here. Now, to me, what makes this guy look good are any gingerbread turkey or uh, reindeer. If you go out to the shop and you look around, now that you, if you watch my videos, you go out there, especially in the fall or Christmas, and you're gonna say, yep, I know exactly what color. Because, because when it comes to gingerbreads, uh, reindeers, and, and Thanksgiving and turkeys, this is my color palette. All right, so this is that shading red <clears throat> that I use to shade a lot. Here, I'm gonna use it as an outline color. And all I'm doing is I'm going around uh, the lines here. Now, everything is still kind of wet, so it's gonna bleed a little bit, but that's okay. We're gonna pretend it's dry, y'all. I'm gonna make believe. So I'm gonna go around here, and I'm just using this shading red as an outline color is all I'm doing. It's called shading red, but in this case, it's actually an outline color. Now, I like him, I think I'm good, but just for a few more brush strokes, I can give him a little bit more of a look. So watch what I do. I'm going to be very light. <clears throat> I'm gonna take this um, script liner, and do you see the little bit of shading that I've got showing here that I'm just gonna take a little bit and just kind of go around, up and down. Up and down is all I'm doing, up and down. Just kind of giving it a little bit of personality. That's it, okay? Now I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna outline this whole guy, shirt, shorts, everything in the same color. So just like you would outline in a black normally or whatever, I'm going to do that. I'm following and etching, <clears throat> following those etched lines. I have a lot of paint on here. 
but that's really the only way I can do it when I'm trying to outline. I'm gonna come on here. Now, even on your red, if you'll notice on his red shorts, how I have the shading red, I'm still gonna outline with shading red using the script liner, still gonna do that. Even though I already have shading red on there, still gonna put more shading red on here. Like so. There we go. I'm gonna come down here with this little guy on his little leg and I'm outlining here. And I'm gonna do the same thing here because he's, he just doesn't have a lot of personality. He's kind of simple. I'm just gonna take that brush after I outline it in the shade, using the shading red, and I'm going to very lightly kind of put some strokes in there on that shading brown. Okay, and then we're gonna come over here, <clears throat> and I'm gonna go up, and I'm gonna do this. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little bit here on there. For all intents and purposes, other than the white, this little guy is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over here and I'm going to put him under the big fan that I have. And we're going to outline the girl. And while that girl is outlining, we're going to let this dry. And then I want to show you, we're going to put some white icing on this guy. But this part's got to dry up. So hold on. Be right back. Just kind of do the same thing with this little girl using the shading red. I've got my script liner. Even though I use shading red with the shading brush, I'm still going to put more shading red on here with the script liner to give me more definition around the perimeter of my bow. I really want a dark, dark red around that bow. So I still put a little more dark red on here using this. Okay. And then I'm gonna go around the side of her face on each side. And again, just putting a little bit of a wisp here. I'm going to outline her arm and her dress. Kind of coming in here on that shading brown. Okay. All right. Let's go over here a little bit. <laughs> they do look good. That's the whole point. You want they you want them when they look like they just came out of the oven, like they're good enough and warm enough to eat. So that that's why the color palette is very important. Uh, because if you have a brown that doesn't look warm, it's going to be like ugh, you know. So. I've worked a lot to get the colors where I want them. But yes, definitely they look good enough to eat. I agree, Jason. Okay, so we're going to come in here, put a little bit more there. I'm outlining her dress. Like so. I think y'all can see. Can you see? There's really not a whole lot to these little guys. They don't take that long to do. And I'm gonna just take my brush and make some strokes right there. Okay, so just like the little guy, she needs some icing. But you can tell <clears throat> I've got a lot of paint on her right now. She has a lot of paint on her. So I'm gonna run over here and get the little guy. Hopefully we got him dry enough. And uh, I'll be right back. So I wish this guy were a little drier, but we're gonna go with what we got. So here's what he looks like right now. I'll show y'all what he looks like right now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some white on him. Because as you know, Ashley and I always say, no piece is gonna be finished until we do some highlighting. So 
so we're gonna put some white on and I think that makes a big difference I need to cover all these other things because I got this fan going all right still using that same script liner that I've been using okay let me stir my paint this paint needs to be stirred up a little bit so let's stir it I'm going to put some white on this little guy and that's it he's done hey Donna how are you so glad you could join me. I've been thinking about you guys going back to school. Man, we live in very interesting times. Okay. Hey, Julie. I saw your vacation, Julie. I'm so jealous. It looks so good. <laughs> Y'all look like you were having a great time while we're all here stuff, uh, dealing with this heat and being you know, stuck at home, so to speak. So I'm just putting some white on this guy. I like to put a, quite a bit on here because he's got a lot of dark color. So we're gonna lighten him up, all right? Now, here, the, when I think about this and the guys and with the eyes, I'm gonna put a lot of paint on here. It's really, if you do this much paint, make sure it stays laying flat because if you don't, this, this white is gonna run because there's that much paint on here. I'm gonna put just a big dot, take that brush, and just kind of lay it down there and put some pressure on my brush is all I'm doing. Where he's got some big dots in his eyes. Now I'm gonna kind of come up here and just give him some icing. Cause you want icing on your gingerbread cookie, right? And all I'm doing is just kind of going back and forth to make sure I put some icing on my little guy right here. Gotta have a little bit of icing, not a lot, okay? I'm gonna kind of do the same thing here. Just go back and forth. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of going back and forth. And then on his uh, little red shorts, I'll put something like this. Okay. And I'll put a little icing on down here. Not a lot, just a little bit. All I'm doing is just moving the brush back and forth. So when you look at this little guy, you saw him just a while ago, but now he's got some white on him. And that's really what you want. You want some icing on there at the very end. Okay, I'm gonna go get the girl. I'll be right back. Same thing with her. I'm gonna kind of start in the middle of her eye. I'm gonna put a lot of paint on this brush. I'm gonna put the brush there and I'm just gonna put some pressure on it. Not a lot, but some. Just put it right here and put some pressure on it, okay? Come back and take some of that paint off. Here's my icing. Here. Okay, gotta do her bow. Hi Donna, how are you? Oh Pam, thank you so much, thank you. Glad y'all like it. Yeah, who doesn't like gingerbread? You gotta like gingerbread. Just like I did in the earlier part, I'm gonna take this white and just kind of go where that red is. Here, I'll probably do both sides. Come on either side here, put a little bit of white on there. And on the button, I'm just gonna put a really small, tiny dot right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna do her dress. Do, do, do icing 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 see now if that doesn't motivate you to go make some gingerbreads because when you see how easy it is they're pretty doggone easy to do I'm gonna kind of set it back to where you can see the whole thing there's your little girl yeah she's cute and that's all we got see you have reindeer brown as your base coat, then base coat your, your uh, dress in green, base coat this in red, and base coat your bow in red, base coat in the, the black eyes, and then you got shading to do and outlining, and that's it. Too cute. There's not a lot to it. Really isn't. And then uh, I'm going to put glitter on it. And what I'll do is I'll just roller the glitter on. It's that mixture of clear and, and uh, silver, and just sprinkle some on like we're kind of seasoning meat. And then once it's done, I'll put a top coat of poly, and that's it. Too cute. Thank you guys for joining me. Hey, I think this is the shortest video I've ever done, y'all. That, that's amazing. 
But don't forget, Ashley will be here. See, today's Wednesday, right? I think she's going to be here tomorrow doing bulbs. And then, um, I don't remember what happens after that. I have to look at the calendar, y'all. Sorry about that. But I'm glad you guys could join me. Hopefully this motivated you to buy, uh, to uh, make some gingerbreads because it, it's not hard. You guys can do it. So y'all have a good one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, guys.